Hey everyone, let's tackle customizing your own spreadsheet. Start by going to Preferences, Reports. You can customize any of these reports, but we are working in spreadsheets in this video. Pick from the spreadsheet list. Choose the class you're going to customize. Choose the group. This determines what type of fields will show up. Notice how they change. Rename your new spreadsheet. You can revert to default. This will reset the default fields. Would you like to continue? OK. And then it will refresh, and it will be back to all the defaults. Let's just say that I don't want area in there, I don't want the county in there, and I don't want the days on market, and I'm going to remove. I'm going to keep the photo, action icons, the MLS number, price, status, class, address, city, and zip in there and hit save. Now when I go to search, I'm going to search by multi-class and remember in our spreadsheet I edited the multi-class spreadsheet. I'm going to go to search by multi-class, active, uh, we'll just say residential, stick built, city, minimum of one acre, between 150 and 250,000. And then everything you entered in the search, go to spreadsheets and view it in your brand new spreadsheet that you just created, awesome sauce. And everything will pull up. We chose, we wanted to see the photo, the action icons, the MLS number, price, status, class, address, city, and zip. I removed the county, days on market, and the area. You can also customize it from your search results page. Go to Customize, Customize Fields, and here's everything that we put. If you decide that you want the county in there after all, search for county and you can add it. Hit Save and this will refresh with the county. I hope this helps.